FutureCast. For where our air originates from determines the weather. If it comes out of, say, the Gulf of Mexico, it's mild and humid. It comes out of Canada, of course, it's cold and dry, and the, that's where the air has been coming from now the last couple of days, and it will continue to do so. So the dry air in place means on Doppler radar, we're not finding any precipitation, no snow showers or rain to be found. So looking pretty good. Time lapse from... Oh, late this afternoon along the South Shore in Narragansett, a few fair weather clouds and an otherwise sunny, chilly, and brisk day. I mean, it's December. It's supposed to be cold, obviously, but these temperatures have been running a little colder than normal. The dry air holding strong for now. The chance for some light snow and rain by Friday evening, Friday night doesn't look too serious. But beyond that, a more important storm system is possible, and we'll show you that in the seven-day future cast. Yeah, ice skating weather, live pictures from Providence looking at the uh, skating center right now with the temperature below freezing and the wind chill about 21 degrees on a west breeze at 13. That's a dry wind direction, so the relative humidity at 51%. You can see the camera shaking a little bit in some of the gusty wind. Of course, that camera's about 100 feet up in the air. Caitlin Rice in Warwick has 32 with uh, partly cloudy skies after a high today of 36 degrees. Most areas is now in and around the freezing mark from Tiverton to Newport, Warwick at 33, Johnston 33, East uh, Bay Manor in East Providence at 32 and 31 now in Cumberland. Smithfield though is down to 28. So a lot of us will head down to say 22, 23 degrees by around 5 o'clock tomorrow morning. Storm system, in fact, we've had a series of these storms that are more or less stalled up across southeastern Canada. And what they're doing essentially is governing how the air is flowing across the northeastern United States. In other words, these gusty northwest winds tapping into that cold air across Canada, driving it across the Great Lakes and into southern New England. You can see the core of the cold uh, just over the border and across the Great Lakes. And this is locked in place now through at least Friday morning. So heading out this evening, doing some holiday shopping, the weather will be fine. 11 o'clock dropping off to 27. And then later tonight, heading down to only 22 degrees under partly cloudy skies by 5 o'clock in the morning. Kids heading out to school in the morning. A cold one with some sunshine at around 7, 8.30 in the morning starting off at 25 degrees. And then during the afternoon, lots of sunshine though chilly. Should be 42 this time of year. We're forecasting only 32, 33. Here it is, city by city and town by town. Mostly sunny, brisk, cold and dry. A west breeze at about 15 to 20 miles per hour. Lower 30s in our northern suburbs, closer to the south shore, looking at temperatures of around 34, 35. So the weekend preview calls for dry weather on Saturday, but that more important storm system on Sunday, it, we're favoring more rain rather than snow as temperatures warm up the second half of the weekend, up to 47. But if you're a snow lover, this is still worth watching. If the track were to change one that would favor colder air, it'd be more in the way of snow. But right now we're leaning uh, towards a rain situation Sunday into Monday with temps in the 40s. That light snow Friday evening, Friday night doesn't look serious. Maybe a coating of snow uh, with temperatures in the upper 30s. But cold and dry, the weather theme now 